Yeah, I think that's an outlier of an event. So it's a, it's a low probability outcome. I, I doubt the Senate um, will uh, will go through with the impeachment. So, you know, it is a sideshow. And you, you talked about what US futures did during our time zone today. They essentially didn't move. We didn't see any um, movement in risk assets on a global basis. We didn't see, um, you know, any uh, sort of concern in markets as a result of that. So what's happened today was a known known. Um, you know, the... the, the, the uh, the, uh, the Democrats have been talking about this for a long time. They had the numbers in the, um, in the House to get this through. We knew that was going to happen. Um, mm. So, look, markets move on, on, on things that are not known knowns. This was a known known. So I don't think it's a, a major issue from a market's point of view at this stage. Markets seemingly taking a little bit of a breather the last day or so. Obviously, volumes are, are lighter as we move into uh, the holiday period. We had a couple of fresh records again for the US markets earlier this week. Uh, what do you see as we move into 2020? We've had a little bit of a resolution on a number of key issues. Uh, trade, yet we're still to see all of the details on that phase one agreement. Bit of a resolution when it comes to Brexit as well. But what's going to underpin the performance of global equities then as we move into 2020? I think it's a case where, you know, the same thing that underpinned it in 19, being low interest rates and supportive monetary policy. But, you know, in 2019, we had the you know, the overhang of Brexit, we had the overhang of this, uh, this uh, pending trade deal. You know, the details of the trade deal, while they're important, I think it's the overarching um, premise that a deal has been done. So it's the intention to do a deal that is really important for the market. So, you know, it improves confidence. We're seeing, you know, global markets, um, you know, are keying off, you know, better manufacturing data. They're keying off, you know, in August of this year, interest rates started to, or bond yields put in a bottom. And they haven't ripped high, but they've started to move higher. So there's a little, there's a few signs there that the market's positioning for better growth in, in, in 2020. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.